All right, so you've got your song, your tune, your background music in GarageBand. So you got, oh, and that metronome stuff is annoying. Where is that? I like to turn that off because you don't normally need that. Oh, well, that's too bad. Okay, so it's now ready to be used. You can't use it from GarageBand. You have to go to Share. Okay, right up here. Share and send song to iTunes. This part's important. Do that. Okay, then it's going to go into, I think, whatever period you're in, playlist. Um, and you, it's going to call it whatever you saved it as. So if you didn't save it as a name, please do that. Go to File, Save As, and save it as a name, because you don't want it to be called Song 1, Song 2, Song 3. That, that doesn't work. Um, you have to save it as a name, and then you're going to go to Share. Now it's going to do its thing, and it's going to send it to iTunes. Now when it finishes sending it to iTunes, it's going to open up iTunes. You don't need iTunes. You don't need GarageBand. Once it's done, quit them both. So it's doing its thing, exporting to iTunes. Let it do that because none of that is what we're going to need. So I'm going to bring up iMovie. Say iTunes is launching, but I want iMovie. From iMovie, go into Media. Don't go to GarageBand because it's not there. That's not where to look. You're going to go to iTunes. And you're going to scroll down and look for your playlist. There's Gonzalez Isles playlist. I'm going to choose it. Look for my song. There it is. And now, just like in the last tutorial, you can just drag it into your timeline and you can have your music there. Now you've got your music file in your timeline. And remember, you can go to Edit, Split Selected Audio Clip at Playhead, and you can split it and move it. That way, if you've got speaking, you can cut it like this and have the talking with no music whatsoever. So the music is not going to go where you have video with words. One other thing you can do if you messed up and the words didn't come out right is turn the sound down on your audio clip and then go to record audio using your computer's microphone and you can record yourself talking just like I'm doing uh, right now. So that little part there was me talking and I can take this voice one, move it down here and see there's no music there. So what'll happen when I play it is that you'll hear my voice. You can use this as a voiceover. Uh, so and you then can you can turn the sound down on the video clip talking and say video to not fix audio. something that then you'll have your voice recording and then when it hits the music, the music will start playing again. And that, um, along with the other tutorial, should give you everything you need to make a great video for your biome.